So one of the things I want to do this year is teach you guys how to take better photos using lower quality gear. Yes, I have a $6,000 plus professional camera setup, but I know not everybody can afford something like that, nor should everybody have something like that. The reason my setup is as expensive as it is, is it's a business asset. I use it for my income. So it's important for me to have good quality gear. Back in December, I busted out of here about two in the morning to go out to Death Valley National Park to spend three or four days out there photographing the awesome sand dunes and other amazing desert landscapes. Unfortunately, I got sick after the first day and had to come home just so I could get rested up and feeling better for the holidays so I could enjoy spending time with my family. While I was out there though, I took a series of images with my camera and a series of images using my smartphone. And since then, I've really struggled coming up with a way to use these images in, through the lens of teaching and entertainment. But I think I finally might have figured it out. I've decided to come up with a game for all of us to play here, and the rules of it are pretty simple. So I have a series of 10 images I've taken with my professional $6,000 plus camera, and a series of 10 images I took with my $1,000 smartphone. How this game will work is I will show you guys an image for 10 seconds. Now, I'm not going to do any type of zooming, so if you're trying to pixel peep, you're not gonna be able to do that, and also, good luck on a compressed YouTube video. After the 10 seconds is up, I will go ahead and put the next image up. And we'll continue to do that until we get through all of the images. So what I want you guys to do is when these images come up and you can take a look at them, I want you guys to write down on a piece of paper or maybe your phone, which device you think I took that image on. Now, full transparency here, I am trying my best to trick you. The other transparency thing I want to tell you guys is this phone actually can shoot raw. So I was actually able to process all the raw images and I actually did it on my computer setup. So everything has been used. I used the same process as I would use with my camera to try to create these, make these images as high quality as I possibly could. Now, I just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer because I don't want you guys to think that it's going to be obviously a phone image and obviously a camera image. No, I'm doing my best to trick you guys, but I'm also not going completely haywire because how fun would it be if it was just like phone snapshots versus camera snapshots if you want to see that just go on instagram reels or tiktok and you'll see people posting it all the time now towards the end of this video i'm actually going to provide an opportunity for you guys to win a prize yes you heard me right i'm going to give away a prize but i'm not going to tell you guys that right now i'm going to tell you guys that towards the end of the video after we talk about the images but that's all i'm going to tell you guys right now so get ready for that first image if you guys need to pause real quick to grab a piece of paper or your grab your get your phone ready if you're on your phone then try to figure out a way to make that happen but i'm going to show you guys that image again you get 10 seconds write down which device you think it is i'll let you guys know at the end and there's a prize on the line
awesome. And that's it. That's the last of the images. Now, I know some of these were pretty obvious and some of them, they probably made you guys think a little bit. And that's kind of the important part of the game. But what I want you guys to do is go ahead and comment down below how many you got right. Now, because I can't really sit there and watch and make sure that all of you got it right, I can't do the competition off of whoever got the most right. But what I am going to do is if you guys comment down below and participate, then what I'm going to do is put you guys in for a drawing to win one of my mini series prints. These prints are an 11 by 14 unframed unsigned print and I have various nature, wildlife, and I even have some mushroom images on there. If you guys actually want to check out my full lineup of prints, then you guys can head to my website down below and see my limited edition and open edition prints as well as my merchandise where I sell phone cases and things like that with my images and then also of course my mini series images like I just mentioned. So again comment down below how many you got right and I will pick a winner at the end of the week. So that's it for this episode though. I know this one was probably pretty quick but if you guys enjoyed it please consider hitting the thumbs up down below and also drop another comment and let me know kind of the, some of the things you guys liked about us. If you want to me to do more more competitions like this, then I'll do some more. So this year, again, I'm going to do a lot more teaching with a phone just because I know a lot of people don't have access to modern mirrorless cameras or DSLRs, but everybody has usually one of these floating around in their pockets. The important thing to know is yes, gear makes a difference, but understanding light composition and how to effectively process your image, these tools are invaluable. And that's what sets photographers apart from the rest. So if you guys would like to learn that kind of stuff, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos and new content. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now though and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.